What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And I've been getting so many questions about day one. What are we doing? What's the problem? GMI, what, what, what are we doing with this, right? All right, listen, pretty much guys, let's go over it right from the beginning, okay? You're going to have to understand this. It's going to be a lot of you guys that will probably get the game later than I do or earlier than I do. And you're going to have to make certain decisions and understand based on what we did earlier in Madden 18, like, so if you haven't been you know, subscribed to me for a while or you don't understand what's going on, you're probably going to have to go back and take a look at some of the things to see what we do first. But day one, bro, day one, we're opening all our free packs, okay? Let me explain to you why that's very critical. EA is going to make certain people get ridiculous pulls like they always do. Why? Because it's going to encourage you to go right into the, into the store and start being a complete and utter idiot. Okay, you're going to start spending everything. You're going to start spending money you don't have. It's going to be ridiculous. Okay, that's part of the plan, right? Listen, though, you're going to open all your packs. You're going to see what you get out of them. That's including the loyalty. If you guys did the loyalty, if you guys listen to me or you just knew to do the loyalty and you got your loyalty tokens and you're going to be able to get some free elite players. Um, if you logged into 16, 17, and 18, you get those free players. There's other bonus players that they're giving out for certain people. You got your rookie premiere cards. You're going to open all packs. You're going to get all those things. You're going to go to your team um, right here. You're going to go to your team lineup, right? You're going to look at it and see exactly what you're lacking, okay? So let's say, for instance, you get lucky and you pull, um, uh, what is that? What is that? Uh, an Aaron Rodgers or a Tom Brady, right, at QB. Say you pull an Aaron Rodgers or a Tom Brady, right? That part of your system is done right now. We're not focused on that part, Okay? You're not trying to go to the gauntlet right after this and get a Baker Mayfield because you already pulled a card that's suitable. Are we going to still go grind the solos? Yes, we are. But we're not looking to use those tokens for a Baker Mayfield. We're looking at whatever else they have, even though, in my opinion, most of the gauntlet cards, they, they're trash for 19. It's neither here nor there, all right? Once you assess it, what you're going to need, you're going to need two good, at least two good wide receivers, a quarterback, a running back. Your own line we have to reserve judgment on that. We got to wait to see exactly how the O-line matters in 19 before we really go crazy over that. Tight end, same thing, all right? Corners, we're going to need two good corners. Now, I already think I'm going to have two good ones with Denzel Ward and um, the other dude that I have that I'm going to be moving around, all right? I have another guy that's going to actually be out there, uh, Derwin James, that's going to be putting in work. So he's going to be there as a rookie premiere, and I got, I got the other, I, you know, I did the other set for the uh, Denzel Ward guy. I think, yeah, you know, that dude is already jumping over my 6'8 wide receivers in game, so I think he's going to be fine for 19, right? Once we assess our user linebacker, who I've, I've already gone over in previous videos, it could be Anthony Barr. It doesn't have to be, we're good, but we're going to need somebody that we, we feel comfortable with based on how they play in the game, all right? That's pretty much what we're going to be looking for. Now, the D-line is the same thing. I don't know how they're going to be reacting. So if we don't pull anything really, really glitchy out of it, you might want to try and dabble with at least one D-tackle and one left and right and whatever to see what's going on. But don't go too crazy about it at launch because we want to make sure that these cards' attributes really matter. All right? Everything else, we're not really worried about. We're going to need a kicker for solos, but we could probably get lucky with some of the packs we're going to be pulling early on to get a kicker. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't really go too crazy about that. EA usually shows love to the grinders when we, you know, put in a little bit of work or we use our loyalty, whatever. We're going to probably get something from that. All right. Now, when you look at your team and you see what it is, more than likely with all the free stuff that you get, you're probably going to go from whatever you start off at to probably like an 80-81. Getting yourself up to the next level of an 85, which is the goal for the first week, you're going to have to grind the solos. So... We're going to have to go to the solos and see what's available. It's going to be a lot of stuff. They're giving you guys so much at launch this year. It's so much of an overload. It's going to take guys weeks to really get a grasp on all the stuff and all the information that EA's been releasing. It's so much stuff that they're giving because they want to keep you glued to Madden. You know what I'm saying? They want to keep you right there and not go anywhere. So it's so much stuff going on, right? We're going to check the sets out before we get to the solos. And we're going to see exactly what's available here. And see how we can apply anything that we have into sets to try to make coins day one. Because everybody is going to be selling everything. It's going to be, yo, how fast can we get rid of this? How fast can we get rid of that? That's pretty much what's going to be going on. Everything is going. So we're going to check the sets, see what's there. What can we put in there? We got some free packs for this. We did the Hall of Fame edition. Whatever you guys got. All right. 
we can make a token. We can make this. We can make this player. Figure out, oh, we can make this legend. Oh, we only need this for a legend. Whatever it is, all right? Figure out what you can do with the sets at launch, okay? Long shot is going to be key as well because we're going to have to squeeze long shot in. But long shot is usually about two hours max. So we're going to probably have to, you know, check it out and make sure that everything is good with it. We can't really go too crazy. Um, if, if it turns out to be way too long, we may lose time with Ultimate Team. You see what I'm saying? And not be able to get certain things at, at the space that we want them. So we, we're going to have to gauge that. But I'm going to do the long shot also because I think it's very, very critical to our gameplay and getting some free cards that we could probably use in other sets in Ultimate Team. So that's very, very critical also. All right? Um, with that being said, with the addition of long shot, you know, long shot 2 coming back, solos are very, very key. Now, we already know that the Gauntlet is coming back because they've already shown cards with Baker Mayfield, uh, DJ. They got, they got a lot of different cards, so the Gauntlet's coming back. And I've already been asked, is this the key to you know, early success in Madden? Over the last two years, it has been the key to success for me. Because even though they've given me garbage um, with like the free packs that they give you, some of the time they've given me cards that I, were a I was able to do other stuff with whether it was make a token, uh, make a badge if it was 17, whatever. I was able to do things with it that helped to contribute to upgrading my team. And the gauntlet is usually so fast, bro. It's usually so fast, all right? You may have one or two games where it's like you're in the, you know, the second quarter or something and you got to do something, but usually it's very, very fast. So the gauntlet for me has been like a, it, it's always been like regular. Like, yo, I'm doing this. I don't really care. This is what it is. And I just move on from there. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Everything else, they put out other stuff that's new because obviously you're going to have the long shot uh, solos in there too. And you're going to have to have completed a certain portion of long shot to do the solos in month. You can't just go there and just start doing it. They make it so you have to do all of the, um, you know, certain type of criteria, a percentage of the game to get all your long shot solos done. So we're going to want to at least do that much. Okay. You got team captains, right? It's so many other things that you guys have been seeing in other videos. So... We're going to have to gauge how we're going to portion our time to get that stuff done. But for now, Gauntlet is key. And I know a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. It's very, very fast. The one thing that you're going to need in order to make sure that you get through the Gauntlet in full is a kicker. That could cost us, but at the end of the day, regardless of what is going on with the kicker that you already have, people are going to be like, it's going to be like sleeper kickers. You know what I'm saying? Like gold kickers that have decent kick power that you can get away with that won't be as expensive. Um, it's going to be a lot of different ways for you to accumulate coins up until that point. Because remember, the rookie version of it, it's usually not that crazy as far as where they want you to kick the field goals from. By the time you get down to veteran and legend, they start moving you back a little bit. And you probably won't be able to pass these parts with the, with the kicker that you have at launch. So that's something that you got to be very, very careful about. All right. Don't think that you're going to be able to do that. I just want you to be very aware of that. That's going to be um, it's, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to get past the kicking part. And then when you can't do that, you can't continue. So you can't get the actual uh, token that you're going to need to put in the set to get the cards that you want. So we're going to have to figure out the easiest way to get the kicker or we're going to have to find a budget kicker that can make the kick. All right. Which is what I did. I got a budget kicker and just made the kick and it was it is what it is because they made kicking so much more important than it used to be back in the day. And that was purposefully, you know what I'm saying? Because the kicking game was so easy and in real football, I think they wanted to translate it into Madden to make it so that it's not as easy. And we've seen people lose tournaments over kicks. So their plan has definitely worked. Okay. So that's pretty, that, that's, that's why you're going to probably need something along those lines to be able to get through the gauntlet, right? After we're done with the gauntlet, it's pretty much free roam because the gauntlet is going to give you certain things that's going to make you be able to up your great, upgrade your team at a, at a very, very fast pace. No money spent right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, I'm going to let you guys know if I need to spend the coins because I just can't control myself or if the gameplay is so good, I don't care anymore. I'm going to let you guys know that as soon as possible. But keep in mind though, after this is done, if we weren't lucky enough to pull a good QB, from the uh, you know from just whatever with our free packs we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our gauntlet tokens to get Baker Mayfield, all right. Once we get a good QB, we're gonna worry about the skill positions with the wide receiver and everything after that. If there are other things like the team captains that we've been seeing um, videos for, if we can do that and get like a Jerry Rice or something like that, we're gonna go ahead and do that. If that's something that's suitable for free solos, 
okay? If that seems too involved and too long and you want to go out into the real game and see what's really going on, we're going to use what we got from the gauntlet. We're going to build our team up and we're going to do some head-to-head -head gameplays because the head-to-head -head gameplays are going to come with different type of rewards that's going to help us to complete certain item sets at launch, okay? So because we're going to get those things from head-to-head -head solos, I'm going to encourage you guys, as soon as you see that your team is like at least an 83, 84, 85, jump into some head-to-head. -head. Let's see what you could get from that because they usually give different rewards for different amount of tokens that you win from there, okay? So pretty much, that's what we're going to do. We're going to open up all our packs. We're going to as assess the objectives in progress. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take, we'll take a look at our lineup, try to get it to the best that we can get it. Take a look at the sets first. Then we're jumping right into solos. Gauntlet is the first thing to do unless you've pulled a Baker Mayfield in which you could take some time off and do something else. Um, after that, we're going to see what other solos are more inclined for us to do. Once we see what's available and it's not as time consuming, oh, we have, don't forget long shot because long shot might be key also for free cards. Once we figure out that and we get our team to about an 83, 84, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump in the season, see what it's about, see what people are running, see what's happening, and go from there as far as gameplay, seeing how the competitive mode works, etc., etc. Even though through solo challenges, you should, you should be able to see what uh, competitive mode is all about. All right? So keep that in mind as well. You should be able to get an assessment of simulation, competitive, stuff like that. Even though you don't play sim in season, it's going to be competitive. You're going to get an assessment of all the different modes, all right? And that's your day one objective, is to get your team as suitable as possible to try to compete in solos. And, and, I, and I'm, I'm telling you right now, within like two to three hours, you should be able to be done with the gauntlet. So, and if you got free packs, Hall of Fame edition, whatever other ways I, I described, loyalty... We should be able to get our teams up to about 82, well, 83, 84, minimum. Some of you guys will get lucky with pulls and get to 85, but I think we'll be good after Gauntlet and our free packs to get to an 84, 85. And I think that EA is kind of pushing that so that we can want to get more, you know what I'm saying, and start spending money on packs. So we might get a little bit more lucky in the early parts, and then our luck might decline as the year goes on once everybody already spent all their money. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Be sure to subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can know when a video was dropped because Madden 19 is almost here and I can't wait. See you guys and girls next time. One love.